Today we're unboxing and playtesting a Highland Hornpipe from Carboni Celtic Winds. Stay tuned. <laughs> Alright everybody, I have here a tube from Carboni Celtic Winds and inside this is a Highland Hornpipe. I had one of these years ago. Um, I can't remember the company that made them. There'll be photos of this instrument at the end, so stay tuned for that because um, the carbon fiber just looks really cool. And the Highland Hornpipe is like a miniature uh, saxophone using bagpipe fingering. It has an alto sax mouthpiece and a body that uh, accepts Highland bagpipe fingering. Now, when the other company went out of business, I actually sold mine um, because, well, they were going for more than market value for a little bit, but I've kind of missed it. And uh, I got one in this tube right now, so excited to see and listen to this. I was a saxophone player before I was a Highland Piper, so, wow, okay, here we go, man. That carbon fiber looks great. All right, it's got a Rovner ligature and cap that's cool all right uh it's got some cork on there this is definitely of a much higher build quality than i remember my last one being and uh yeah now they normally do come supplied with a reed but uh i told him i have plenty of sax reeds so uh i have a number two legere here that uh, i'm gonna stick in this thing and uh we're gonna give this thing a whirl and see how it sounds so yes, Legere reeds. I was told they were working with McCallum bagpipes on a synthetic Highland pipe channel reed. And I remember seeing a video on it, but that was a number of years ago. So I don't know if they're still in development of that or not. Ah, very clarinetty sounding. nice crazy mix of clarinet saxophone and a uh, small pipe kind of so just like any uh, single reed instrument you can kind of lip it up lip it down it's going to take me a little bit to kind of uh play around with this and figure out exactly the intonation and the voicing i need to do in my mouth to get it in tune but i'm excited kind of a way to keep my uh saxophone chops up here but continue fingering uh, the highland pipes down here since filming the initial untubing of this Highland Hornpipe, I've actually gone through my old sax stuff and found an old Ridenauer mouthpiece um, that was a little bit um, more restrictive inside. It wasn't quite as open um, through. There's terms for all this. I never got to quite that level of saxophone playing like the baffle or something. But it was clearly a bit more restrictive here. And I also found an even easier uh, Legere reed, which is a plastic reed here. This is a one and a half in their signature series, Alto. And I find the... Um, maybe slightly more restrictive mouthpiece with a lighter reed actually gives me a clearer uh, tone out of the instrument. So even a clearer, more clarinet-like sound out of it, but it still accepts all the grace notes just fine.
So big range of dynamics when you play, that's a lot of fun. So um, I've been just picking this thing up and just having a blast with it. So if you do pick up one of these, I actually recommend a lighter reed. Um, now I've been using the Legere's, but it works fine with regular reeds too. But I find like a three, a three and a half, a four, um, with maybe the body being so small, uh, it just seemed to be a little brash and the grace notes were just not quite as clear. I get a better response out of an easier read, um, which might be surprising, um, but it seems to work. It's a smaller instrument than a saxophone, so it kind of makes sense in my head at least that it would do well with an easier read. Again, this is a one and a half, which is like kind of baby strength read, if you will. But this one and a half read goes really well with the Carbony Celtic Winds Highland Hornpipe. Well, there you go, everybody. It's a shorter video, but it's a simple instrument. It's just a tube with some holes and a saxophone mouthpiece. So if you have clarinet chops, if you have saxophone chops, if you played a single reed instrument before, this could be a super fun way of um, creating a little bit of a different tonal soundscape, if you will. It's uh, got a very unique, very fun kind of sound. And again, it might help you keep your chops up here and here for both your saxophone or clarinet playing and your Highland bagpiping. Well, there you go, everybody. Just a little bit on the Highland Hornpipe by Carbony, Celtic Winds. Um, now, this was a gift from uh, Carbony. I thank you so very much for uh, providing this for me. Um, I guess they've enjoyed the other videos on the fine products they've done. They've had a whistle that I've reviewed, as well as a set of small pipes. So check out those reviews. There'll be cards and links below. Um, great stuff from this uh, company, and uh, glad to uh, give this a whirl. So thank you guys so much. Well, if you enjoyed the video, guys, please think about giving it a like, subscribing to the channel, and hitting that bell icon to be notified of when I post new videos. I also have a Patreon where as little as a dollar a month goes a really long way to helping support the channel, and a special shout out to Miss Carrie Tresek, um, but you'll see names scrolling up of fine supporters. They contribute monthly to the channel. I'd love to add your name to this list. You often get early access to videos and other perks, so go check out my Patreon. I also teach Skype and online lessons. Go ahead and head over to www.commandyourbagpipe.com or email me at the address you see here and we'll get you going. I'm working with folks from all over the planet and I hope to work with you soon. I also have a Command Your Bagpipe store where you can get things like t-shirts and mugs and other things. So go check that out and let the world know that you command your bagpipe. All right, everybody, I'm Matt Willis Bagpiper and until next time, cheers. Cheers. <laughs>